Beginning around 2014, Rihanna's main living place has been an extravagant townhouse at the 100 Years, one of the most costly and renowned private high-rises in Los Angeles. However, with another child and a second kid on the way, in addition to staff and her omnipresent escort, she's inclination a piece confined in her three-room, 3,500-square-foot 3 home. So the Barbadian whiz has corrected that situation as the rich and exceptionally well-known, can she sprinkled out $21 million to get one of the century's biggest condominiums, a penthouse spreading over the structure's whole 40th floor. With an excess of 9,000 square feet of living space, various tailor-made contacts and fantastic perspectives, the spread deserve any superstar. Nick Molnar, a billionaire and co-founder of the tech company Afterpay, was the seller. At first, he wanted $28 million for the penthouse. However, Rihanna was able to get a good deal, and it's likely that she used LA's mansion tax as a bargaining chip, because the deal ended on March 31, one day before the new tax went into effect. Molnar would have owed an additional $1.1 million in taxes if the transaction had closed in April. In any case, Molnar, who purchased the condo from Matthew Perry less than two years ago, is losing $600,000 due to the discounted $21 million sale price. With the assistance of interior designer L. M. Pagano and architect Scott Joyce, the Friends actor made extensive renovations to the property during his four years as owner, however, it does not appear that Molnar altered Perry's designs. Guests will be awestruck by the living room's curving wall of floor-to-ceiling windows that showcase views of the skyline. A private elevator landing leads into the condo's entrance gallery. Dimurthy colored hardwood floors stream into the lounge area, which is overhauled by an all-white kitchen with marble ledges, double islands and premium apparatuses. A soundproof movie theater with velvet couches and a master suite with a curved bedroom, two custom closets, two bathrooms, and its own private lounge, are also on the premises. The four outdoor terraces of the condo, which face north, south, east, and west, offer panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean, Catalina Island, downtown LA skyscrapers, the San Gabriel Mountains, and even Mount Baldy, with its snow-capped peaks. However, the most impressive aspect of the condo is probably its four terraces. Denzel Washington and the reality TV stars Terry and Heather Dubrow are among the other notable residents of the century. Then there's Candy Spelling, whose famous two-story penthouse is just above Rihanna's and spans the building's 41st and 42nd floors. Since it was finished around 2010, the Century has been the best residential skyscraper in Century City. It was designed by Robert A. M. Stern Architects. Rihanna's penthouse incorporates a heavy $8,814 in month-to-month -month HOA levy for that, she gets a large group of buildings' best conveniences, including four deeded parking spaces in its underground carport, every minute of every day attendant and safety officers, admittance to an outside pool and lavish nurseries, on-location storage spaces, an in-house cafe, meeting rooms and substantially more. In the mountains above Beverly Hills, Rihanna also owns two side-by-side -side mansions that are reportedly leased to tenants. Forbes says that the We Found Love singer is now the richest female musician in the world, worth $1.4 billion. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.